Hello, hi everyone. Good evening, how are you? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, how hi, are teacher. you? How's it, um, how are you doing? Como están todos? Fine. Fine, very fine. Oh, okay, very good. That's nice to hear. So, ya casi es el fin de semana, right? Estamos a punto de terminarle, así que espero que, que hayan tenido una buena semana en general. All right. So, gracias por unirse. Thank you very much for joining today's uh, session. Vamos a cubrir parte de la sesión número dos, all right? Uh, que no sé si ya tuvieron la oportunidad de revisar. Habló un poquito de la casa. Actually, el día de ayer alguien mencionaba que, que ya había avanzado bastante y ya estaba en la parte de la casa. Um, ¿Alguien ya comenzó con esta sesión? Have you started? No. Todavía no. Not yet. All right. So... Si aún no lo han hecho, well, tenemos el fin de semana para poder adelantar un poco, right? Um, so this belongs to a station number two, okay? And this is what we will be doing. El objetivo de ahora is uh, to learn in vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartment. So vamos a movernos un poquito from daily activities y vamos a hablar de nuestra casa. So we are going to describe our house, uh, apartment, um, probably lo que podamos tener alrededor en nuestras casas, all right? Y las partes, of course. So, we are going to get started uh, with a conversation, okay? Vamos a comenzar con esto, okay? So, first, les voy a pedir que activen el micrófono. Please get your microphone ready. Activate it. Si se puede el video, pues también. Okay, so you can activate your camera and uh, follow me. Vamos a leer la conversación. We're going to be reading this conversation. Okay, so please repeat after me. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Guess, Guess what? what? I have, I a, new have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. Great. What is it like? That's great. That's great. That's great. What What's it like? like? It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Very big. It is very big. Oh, it has a big living room. Well, I have well, a, a big living room. That's a big living room. room. A small bedroom. A bathroom and a kitchen. A bathroom and a kitchen. Where is it? 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 On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview, Lakeview Drive. Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Oh, oh, oh nice. nice. Does it have a view? Have a view? Yes. yes, it does. Yes, it, yes, it does. It does. It does. It has a great view of another apartment building. It has a, it has a great, great view of another apartment building. building. Apartment building. Very good. Let's repeat. Bedroom. Bedroom. Bathroom. Bathroom. Kitchen. Bathroom. Kitchen. Building. Building. All right, very good. So we are going to practice this uh, short conversation in pairs, okay? So vamos a practicarlo en pareja. Um, something very important. Vamos a, a preocuparnos, eh, vamos a poner mucha atención, all right? A la entonación, como suena. So, si es una pregunta, for example, what is it like? Is it very big? Enfatizamos un poquito, all right? For example, dice, oh, nice. Right. Entonces, elevamos un poquito el tono de voz también. All right. So, um, let me see. Okay. Give me just a second. Vamos a hacer pequeños grupos now para que tengamos la oportunidad de practicar. All right. 
So, tomémosle una captura, please. Take a, a picture. Si están en la computadora, print screen para que la puedan eh, practicar. So, you can practice. Are we ready? ¿Listos? Yes. Is everybody ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. So please, unámonos a los grupos. Let's join the groups. Hi, Mr. Flores. Hello, hello. Mr. Flores, can you hear me? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. <laughs> On Lakeview Drive. Nice, nice. How a view. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, hoy comienzo yo. Vaya. Okay. This was a town new apartment. That's great. What's what is it like? Hello. <laughs> Hello Hola. there. Hi. Hi, Miss. Creo que perdimos a Ernesto. Sí. I think we lost him. <laughs> Yo creo que sí. <laughs> it's okay. So, voy a practicar con usted. I will be practicing the problem. So, creo okay. que todo el mundo está viendo la cadena, right? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay. Um, would you like to read Linda or Chris? Uh, Chris. Okay. Um, so, I begin. Uh, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is, what's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, uh, maybe we can switch. Hacemos el cambio. So you can start. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has... A big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Um, where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Excellent. Very good. 
Very good job and good pronunciation. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you. So Mirna, vamos de regreso. Let's go back to the main session. Give me just a second. Ahorita lo termino. I'll finish this one up. Okay, hold on a sec. Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Now you can hear. Hello. Me. You could in. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining this back. I hope you had the opportunity to practice with your classmates. Okay. Um, yes. And uh, tell me, what parts of the body, do, what parts of the house do you remember? ¿De cuáles partes de la casa eh, se recuerdan? Uh, living room, bathroom, bed, uh, kitchen. Okay, what else? Garage. Ah, garage. Garden. Garden, good. No están aquí, Garden. pero excelente. Okay. Uh -huh, okay, excellent. Now let's take a look at this one. Here we have the parts of your house or the parts of the apartment. For example, ya mencionaron garage, stairs, la gradas, right? We have a yard, como un patio, a living room, dining room, a kitchen. Algunas veces están unidos, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Laundry room. Do you have a laundry room? Tienen un lugar donde lavar? Do you have a laundry room? Yes, I do. Very good. Um, here we have like the bedrooms and we are going to check some specific parts. What is the name for this? Kitchen. Okay, a kitchen, exactly. Um, so this is one part of the house. So we have this one, what is this? Living room. room. Very good. Tell me, what can you see? ¿Qué logran ver? Can you describe the thing? Television. A television. Is window. Windows. Windows. Pictures. Picture. Sofa. Yes. Uh, plants. A table. Table. Scarf. Uh, windows. What is this? Scarf. Books. Books. How do you call this? Mm, this one right here. Table. Table. Okay. This is a table. Yes. Flowers. Flowers. Alfombra. Scarf. Exactly. Um, I don't know. This is a carpet. Carpet. Okay, excuse me. Or también se puede llamar rug. So this is a carpet. Um, and this is like a cupboard. O puede parecer también como un shelf. Que es un estante. A shelf. Ya vamos a revisarlos. We're going to check them in a second. What is this? Uh, bedroom. 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 bedroom, exactly. For boy or for a girl? What do you think? For boy. For boy. a boy. What, what, what do you identify in this bedroom? A bed. The colors. The colors. Ah, because of the colors, okay. So what do you see? You can see a bed. What else? Backpack. Backpack. Uh, a backpack. Oh, yeah. Back right here. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay. A desk. Excuse me. A closet. Okay. All right. What else? Picture. There is a, a chair. Chair. Okay. And also some toys, right? You can see some toys right here. Okay. Very good. So this is the bedroom. What about this? Bathroom. Bathroom. It's a bathroom. What? Which um of the objects can you name? What can you name from here? Toiler. Toilet. Toilet. Mm -hmm. uh, Very good. A Toilet. A mirror. Mirror. Excuse me. It's a curtain. Mm, okay, curtain. Very good. Uh, Tina. Okay, a bathtub. What about this one? Donde lavamos las manos. What is this? 
Any soap. idea? Oh, soap. Okay. And this is a sink. ¿Con las manos? Sí. Se llama sink. Uh, I N K. Towel. Okay. A towel. Very good. Exactly. A brush. A brush. Okay. Brush. Oh, Toothbrush. Exactly. Toothbrush. Okay. Perfect. Brush. Shampoo. I believe this is shampoo. Very nice. Okay. Now take a look at this one. As you said, this is a bed. Chair. Chair. Sofa. All right. Sofa. We have. Oh, that is a fridge. Refrigerator. There are two ways. You can say a refrigerator or you can say fridge. Fridge. Okay. You can also use. Uh, let me see. Let me show you next. Um, all right. Also, you have here a table, right? This is a dining table. So it's del comedor. This is a dining table. Um, television or TV? All right. And uh, this one, ¿cómo se llamaba? What was the name? I don't remember. It begins with This is a sink. Okay. So a sink where you wash your hands. This is a sink. Yeah. Um, also, this one, if you pay attention, hay muchos libros, right? But, se pueden poner más cosas. This is a shelf. So, it's como un estante. So, that's a shelf. And, uh, so, we have these, you know, rooms here. Uh, for example, what is the name for this? Kitchen. What is this? Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. What is this? Bedroom. And what is this? Living room. Living room. The living room. Very good. That's okay. All right. And here we have some things. For example, if we have a fridge, a bed. A cupboard and a chair. Cupboard normally donde guardamos cosas, right? So a cupboard is como una un cabin, un cabinet, all right? So se pueden guardar cositas, como un drawer, como um, casi un gavetero. So that's a cupboard. So um, yesterday revisábamos la estructura de simple present tense. Y veíamos un poquito de do and does con verbos diferentes. Today vamos a hablar un poco de la casa. If you pay attention here, you have, for example, do you live in an apartment? And you have two answers. Yes, I do. And no, I don't. All right. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. So if you check. Si me preguntan con you, obviously la pregunta es personal, entonces yes I do. Si la pregunta es do the bedroom, sería they, yes they do. Does Chris live in a house? Le pregunta sobre uh, Christian, okay, Chris. So, yes he does, or no he doesn't. And, si estoy preguntando de la casa, for example, does the house have a jar? Yes, it does. Porque estamos hablando de la casa de eso, right? De un objeto. Or no, it doesn't. So, vamos a practicar preguntando un poco de lo que tenemos en nuestras casas. First, here we have, talk about your house. How many rooms does your house have? How many TVs do you have? How many books do you have? Um, of course, pueden decir once. Vamos a utilizar some, right? So, let's answer question number one. How many rooms does your house have? Uh, I think I Teacher, may I have uh, a question? Tell me. Uh, uh, in, the, in the exercise, I was watching that uh, 
what rooms are in your house? What rooms are in uh, houses in your country? No, how many? What room? O sea, en lugar de decir how many, decía what room. Está bien decirlo así también. Sure, but the thing is that la pregunta es diferente. Because um, si yo le pregunto what room, yo quiero que me sea específico y me indique, right? Oh, a bedroom. Oh, um, a kitchen, etc. And how many es para números. So usted me diría ah, okay. one, two, ah, three. For example, how many? Entiendo, entiendo. O sea, what room es como para, para explicar, tenemos habitaciones, sala, eh, las dependencias de la casa. Exactly. Here, how many rooms? Es como, solo cuéntenlo, all right? Count them. Ah, okay. Y digan, okay, okay, número, okay. yes. You. But of yes, course, um, you can, uh, si me puede dar más, right? Me puede dar más información. How many rooms does your house have? I can tell you one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there are six rooms. There is a bedroom, there is a kitchen. So, pero la, la pregunta se enfoca en el número, right? So, what about you guys? How many rooms? ¿Cuántos hay en su casa? In my room, there are three bedrooms. Okay, so in your room, there are three bedrooms. Okay, thank you. Um, anybody else? Volunteers? In my room, you have one bedroom. Uh, okay. In your house. I mean, in, in your house. Yes. There is one bedroom. In the night to 5 p.m. to 7 uh, I'm so sorry, uh, I think it was Jennifer? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, you mentioned one? There is one? Yes, only one. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, anybody else? How many rooms? Teacher is correct to responde, my house has three rooms. Of course, of course, my house has or I have, or there are, yes, no worries. That is totally correct. Now, take a look at question number two. How many TVs do you have? I have one TV. What about you? How many TVs do you have? I have two TV. You have two TVs? What about the others? Anybody else? Um, well, in, in my house, there are three TVs. Okay, in your house, there are three. Thank you. Daniel, I'm sorry. No quiero terminar de escuchar. Okay, in, in, my, in my house, um, uh, we have three TVs. Okay. Uh, um, one by one bedroom. And but I don't have any TV in my bedroom, but uh, I can see, I can watch TV. Okay. Um, Christina, but you study. But you can watch TV, I'm sorry? At the living room. Oh, okay, okay. So, I mean, you can go to the living room and, and that's fine. Okay, very good. Thank you, Daniel. All right. And the last question says, how many books do you have in your house? How many books do you have? You can mention the number. Tell me, Jennifer. Uh, I have two books. Okay, so you have two books. Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más? In my house, there are many books because I was studying medicine. Oh, okay. Perfect, thank you. So there are many books. Anybody else? Um, In my house, there are a lot of books. Thank you, there are a lot of books. I'm so sorry, K-5-0-S. What's your name? <laughs> sorry, teacher, my name is Sergio. Oh, thank you, Sergio. Okay, yeah. So, el, 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 
el nombre del teléfono, creo. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. Um, por ahí se me escapó alguien más. I don't know if that was Daniel. I my house uh, around 20 books. Wow, that's a lot. Do you like reading? Do you like to read? Um, it's about the English books. Um, I English have some. Books. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, some like English stories or school books? Um, story, English story about, I, I have Frankenstein, Winnie the Pooh, and others. And wow. I have the Game of Thrones. Oh. oh my God, in English? Yeah. Awesome. So, okay, that, that's awesome. So keep on reading. That is the, definitely the best hobby we can have because we learn a lot. Very good. Now, um, take a look at, oh, okay, give me a second. I have here just one question, as you can see in my screen, and it says, what is your favorite room in your house? Okay, so we are going to go for the groups. Vamos a unirnos nuevamente, all right? Y vamos a, a intentar describir lo que ustedes tienen en este cuarto favorito. So what is your favorite room in your house? For example, my favorite room is my living room. I have a TV. I have a small table, I have a sofa, a very comfortable sofa, and si es posible, digamos los colores, all right? Las descripciones and things like those. Um, I have a uh, watch and I have two pictures. Um, let me see, I, I, I don't know what else. <laughs> this is what I can describe. So, intentemos describirlo. Si ustedes pueden describir Tu casa completa, perfecto, all right? So, enfóquense en lo que tienen alrededor. So, we can give uh, information. Nelson, tell me. Nelson, Nelson, where are you? Hello. Tell me, Nelson. Hi. Buenas noches, me escucha. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> sí, buenas noches. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice terraza en inglés? That's a terrace. Pero depende. Si es como una especie de balcón, sería el balcony. Pero si es como todo el pedazo, eh, let me see, que tiene, por ejemplo, arbolitos, you know, o tiene grama, sí sería una terrace. No, es que digamos. Hello. Hola, hola, ¿me escuchan? Yes, yes, we can listen to you. Hi, Ernesto. Gracias por unirse. How are you? Eh, perdón, lo siento, se me ha perdido la señal. Ya Super. Gracias a mí por también. unirse. Yeah, I know, acá está lloviendo, too, so I'm like, <laughs> espero que no se, se, se vaya la luz or something. Okay, no worries. Um, so, eh, les doy un poquito de recap de lo que estábamos haciendo. And, uh, vamos ahorita a intentar describir nuestro lugar. Ahorita les comparto la pregunta. Give me a second. Okay, let me see, let me see. Okay, this is the question. So, um, estuvimos respondiendo un par de preguntas and uh, esta es la pregunta What is your favorite room in your house? Vamos a describir okay? right? like, I have a TV I have a, a lot of books so escojan un lugar de su casa que les guste mucho you know, that you feel comfortable in y vamos a describirlo you will describe them so obviously, podemos incluir I have or podemos incluir I don't have. I don't have. Y, e indicamos el que, right? Do you have okay. any, any question? No. Ok, perfect. So, los dejo un segundito para que practiquen voy, mientras voy a, a ver cómo están los demás. All right. Give me a okay. second. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of snacks <laughs> all the time. 
<laughs> Hi. Hi there. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry, what place are you describing? The kitchen? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just heard it's Max. So that's what I thought. It, okay. It, it's Mac. Uh -huh. It's Max. Yes, yes, so I just thought, oh, maybe the, the kitchen, right? Yes, not. Really? Is that your favorite place? Sergio? Okay. Oh, my favorite place uh, in my house is, yes. is my bedroom. Oh, the Because, bedroom. yeah, uh, because I, I told, I, I told, to Carlos, um, uh, which uh, there there is a TV, and okay. when I take a nap, uh, I I watch I watch Netflix. Oh, okay. <laughs> Especially on rainy days, I believe días como estos lluviosos, right? Okay, <laughs> yeah. so, so that's yeah. your, your bedroom. Okay, uh, yeah. Carlos, mister, what about you? What's your favorite place? Me too, it's bedroom. Uh, oh. Because uh, when I TV, um, como por decirte, porque tengo una televisión grande, my TV. Eh, ahorita, give me a second. Solo le comparto acá. I'm, I'm just sharing. Uh, give me a second. Um, the last thing here. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Dígame. Si sí. las, este, las clases todavía no están subidas en YouTube. Eh, sí, están en YouTube. Hasta la del día de ahora ya está subida. Ah, entonces para que me ayude con para el link. De ayer. Ah, uh -huh. Sí, por supuesto. El link se lo voy a compartir nuevamente en el grupo de WhatsApp. Um, okay. en, en su correo también lo puede encontrar. Uh -huh. um, okay. Carlos, acá, donde dice I have eh, y donde dice I don't have, eh, los, la descripción siempre va a ir antes. Entonces, si yo digo TV, all right, so I have a TV porque es una, right? Pero yo puedo agregar en este espacio, I can add colores, tamaños, ok, descripciones y todo lo que yo quiera. Por ejemplo, I have a big TV, alright. Okay. Por lo puesto, I have a small TV, ok. Or I have, tengo un televisor un poquito ya viejito, right. I have an old TV. So puedo incluir eh, descripciones, you know, adjectives, colors, eh, lo que sea descriptivo, alright. Okay. Tell us, ¿qué más tiene? I have a TV. Uh, I have a air condition. Okay. Uh, I have a... Um, um, I, yeah, I, I soft, sofa. Oh, sofa. okay. Sí, oh. Sofa. Yes, sofa. a sofa, a sofa. Okay, very good. What about the things that you don't have? ¿Qué es lo que no tienen en, en, su, um, in your bedroom? Porque eso estamos describiendo, right? For example, uh -huh. my bedroom, I don't have a TV. I have a TV in the living room. So I watch TV in the living room, okay? What about you? ¿Qué es lo que no tienen? I don't I, have. I don't have. Um, <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't know. A table, una mesa, a, uh, a chair. Un escritorio. I don't. I don't have chair. Chair. Okay. okay. That's okay. okay. Uh huh. Sergio, what know. about you? I don't have a sofa in my bedroom. Okay. No, neither do I. I don't have a sofa. Okay. Uh, what else? Algo más que no tenga. Something else. Um, I don't have a guitar. Oh, okay. I, I, I like a guitar, but I I don't have. Can you play? Do you play the guitar? Yeah. Uh, uh, antes. Before. Antes. Before. Before. Yeah. 
or sometime in the past. Okay. So you played mm -hmm. before, but not anymore. Ya no más. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And I have a guitar and I cannot play anything. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. So it's sad. Okay. <laughs> Carlos, <laughs> anything else? Algo más que no tenga? Eh? Oh, algo más que tenga. <laughs> I have a... I... 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 Uh, del, y a maca en inglés, ¿cómo se puede decir? Oh, all right. I have a hammer. I have a hammock. Uh, um, yes. Ham hammock. Yeah. yeah. Like a eh, hammock. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't have a hammock. Okay. So nice. I, I love sleeping. Sleeping. I. <laughs> well, oh, I'm, I'm to, to right. sleep. Okay. To sleep. Okay. Yeah. So I have heard. No, yo creo que me caería. So, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right. Okay, everybody. Very good. Give me just a second. Vamos a regresar a la sesión principal. All right? Okay. Give me Thank just you, teacher. a second. No problem. By the way, lo están haciendo super bien. So, keep on practicing. Okay? Okay. 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 Y no hacerlo para que se vuelva a caer como harina, como se cayó en la escuela. Sí, presidente. Hi, teacher. Everyone. All right. I believe where uh, you had the, the chance, right, to practice a little bit. Y algunos estuvieron describiendo lo que tienen, lo que no tienen en your head. Now, uh, tell me, ¿qué es algo que consideran que um, tienen que no es común? Something that you have, probably in your house or in one specific room. Hay algo que consideren que no es como muy común que todos los pacamas, ¿no? Excuse me. Pacama. Ah, okay. Do you have one in your bedroom? Yes. Okay. All right. Anything else? Algo más que tengan? Anything else? Teacher, how can I say lavamanos? Ah, uh, that's a sink. Ahorita se lo escribo. In the chat. Give me a second. Um, all right. So that's um, that's a sink. So if you sink. go to the okay. yeah, if you go to the bathroom, this is the sink. Sink. Okay. So and the place. How can and the el gabinete o pantry? ¿Cómo se podría decir? You can say cabinet. I have a cabinet. cabinet. Yeah, I have a cabinet. Uh, that's the most common. Or are, are we good? No more? Okay, very good. So we have just a couple of minutes. Antes de terminar, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Quiero que escriban on uh, your notebook, on a piece of paper, o solamente pensemos en cinco preguntas que podamos hacerle del, al compañero sobre cosas que tengan en sus casas. ¿Cómo lo hacemos? How can we do that? Las preguntas son bastante sencillas. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. Um, let me share this. <laughs> okay, give me a sec. Les estoy compartiendo something different. Okay. So, how do we make questions? Obviously, comenzamos con do o con that. So, do you have... Y luego podemos decir el que, all right? For example, do you have a swimming pool in your house? Do you have a swimming pool? Alguien tiene una piscina? Do you have a swimming pool? No, I don't. No, no you don't? Mm -hmm. no? Yes, I do. Oh, awesome. I would love to have a swimming pool, but I don't. Okay. Um, so, vamos a hacer preguntas and if possible, vamos a también incluir la parte de that. If possible, we are also going to include the that. For example, eh, podemos hacerle con su casa, that's your house, y como solamente estamos preguntando de uno, estos serían it, right? 
Does your house have, y luego le decimos el cariño, does your house have a garden? So, ¿Tiene la casa un jardín? Does your house have a garden? Obviamente la respuesta ya no sería yes, I do, porque la pregunta fue, does your house? So respondo con yes, it does, or no, it doesn't, right? So yes, it does, or no, it doesn't, okay? So les voy a brindar dos minutitos para que pensemos en tantas preguntas como podamos y luego vamos a escoger some volunteers or victims, okay? to answer the question. So, you have two minutes. You have one more minute. Okay, everybody, are we ready? Do you have a couple of questions? Yes. Okay. Very good. Um, ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Who would like to get started? Teacher. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or for Daniel. Okay, for Daniel. Uh, do you have people table? I can repeat it again. Do you have a pinball table? Mm, no, I don't, but I would like to have one. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next, one more question, please. Select a person. What? Okay. Select one more person, please. One more question. Excuse me, uh, I think. I think there is a lot of <laughs> sound, sorry. Yeah, background sorry. sound. Don't worry, okay. So, uh, solo selecciona una persona más. Select one more person, please. Okay. Uh, uh, para for Carlos Emilio. All right, thank you, Carlos. Hey. Uh, do you have uh, do you have bed in your house? Bed, bed. No, bed. 
Oh, a pet. Ah, I heard, okay, ma, I heard that too. No, <laughs> no, I don't have pets in my house. Okay, thank you, thank you, guys. That's all right. Um, let me see. Let's go with uh, Mr. Enriquez. Please help me with a question. Mr. Enriquez, are you around? Yes, it's for Wendy Ortega. Wendy, thank you. Wendy, uh, does your community have a golf camp? No, no, it doesn't. Perfect, good answer. Okay, thank you. That's okay. Uh, thank you, thank you, guys. Uh, let me see, Cecilia. Let me go with you. Ceci, can you help me with a question, please? Sorry, yeah, can you help me with a question, please? Uh, do you have a garage in your house? Let's go with Sergio. Hi, Sergio. Uh, uh, Did you I don't. To... Oh, okay. okay. I don't. All right, thank you. And um, Sylvia, help me with a question, please. Um, do you have a ball soccer? Like a, a soccer ball? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, let me see. We haven't listened to um, Jennifer. Let's go with Jennifer. Um, yes, uh, I have. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. So we are having, let me see. We have a couple of minutes, okay? So we are going to get started just practicing questions, okay? I will be asking you questions, guys. You can do that and uh, respondenme like the fastest you can para que también practiquemos un poquito de listening comprehension, all right? So okay. I have a question for... Um, well, I will get it started from the bottom. So, Ernesto. Hi, Ernesto. Let me see if Ernesto is around. Probably not. Nelson, Ernesto, are you around? Yes, you are. Save me. Okay. Save me. So, do you have a sink in your house? Uh, repeat, please. Do you do you have a sink? Sink. A place to wash your hands? Mm, I don't. Thank you. Uh, Sylvia, does your house have two floors? Two? Does your house have two floors? Floors. Oh. One floor. Two floors. Does your house have two floors? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, let me see. Wendy, um, do you have... No, let me ask you about your family. Does your brother or sister have a garden? Uh, yes, my young brother has a little garden. Okay, very good, very good use of third person also. That's excellent. Okay, very good. So everybody, um, antes de terminar, before finishing today's session, que es la última de la semana, all right? Quiero agradecer por uh, los que han estado acá desde el día uno, desde el día lunes. All right. uh, yo sé que la hora es difícil, pero gracias por siempre estar pendientes. Uh, Nelson, mírame, creo que tiene una pregunta, right? Sí, sí, eh, sí, teacher. Este, solo quería ver. El verbo do es hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, do es hacer. ¿Verdad? Y ahorita estamos ocupando eh, do, have y lo demás y también decimos do es have y lo demás. Entonces, ¿cómo es que se relaciona a eso? Porque ahí sí yo me confundo. Porque se supone que do es un, es un verbo y ahorita lo usamos como un, como un auxiliar. No sé si me explico. Sí, claro. Es esto. 
eh, los verbos no todos se reducen a un significado. Eh, do sí puede significar hacer. Por ejemplo, yo hago mi tarea, I do my homework. Pero do es un auxiliar también. Entonces, por ejemplo, uh, yes. cuando usted inicia con do you, yo sé que no estamos hablando de hacer, estamos hablando solamente de un auxiliar. Nos enfocamos uh -huh. mucho en la posición en la que ocupan. Por ejemplo, okay. do, you, uh, do you eat dinner every day? Okay. Uh, usted inició con tú. Por lo tanto, de, desde que usted dice do you, ya sé que el do no es el verbo hacer, sino que es de pregunta. Es auxiliar. Exacto, es una yeah. pregunta. Algunas veces usted va a ver algo como esto. Do you do. Va a ver esta combinación. Do you do. Pero do el primero es el auxiliar. Do el segundo es el verbo. Por la posición en la que ocupa. So yo puedo preguntarle. ¿Haces la tarea? Do you do your homework? Exacto. Y es por la posición. Si se fija, acá tenemos eh, auxiliar. Luego le sigue el sujeto y luego le sigue el verbo. Entonces, vamos a poner atención a esto. Eh, lo mismo de forma positiva. Ustedes, eh, hemos visto que de forma positiva, yo digo, por ejemplo, I eat a salad, I eat a salad every day. Um, so, yo como ensalada, right? Salad. Puedo decir, I do my homework. So, si se fija, esto es un verbo. Porque va sujeto, verbo, ya no es un auxiliar. Right. Ok, entonces prácticamente al momento, digamos, de escribir o pronunciar o que la persona nos esté hablando, entonces tenemos que estar pendientes si el tú va como auxiliar o tú va como ¿Eh? verbo. Eh, sí, ¿Eh? la mayoría de veces en la que usted utiliza tú, el está cuando usted toma... Sí, fue un verbo, right? So, this is a verb. Si solamente el do va en esta posición de I do or I don't do, entonces eso sí estamos hablando del verbo hacer. Es solamente cuestión del contexto en el que lo utiliza. Ok, eso ya me quedó muy claro. All right. Gracias, soy teacher. Sure, uh, anytime. Estamos a la orden. So, agradecerles a todos por su... Eh, por su participación. All right, gracias por estar acá. Yo sé que algunos estamos teniendo dificultades de conectividad, de internet, you know. Eh, otros estamos tal vez pendientes de la cadena nacional, pero gracias por estar acá y por participar. All right. So, nos vemos el día lunes. Avancemos con la plataforma, please. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Thanks.